to scratch round number one. Blue trunks with black for the Englishman Jake Bostwick. Solid black trunks for Julian Lane. And I saw something right there, right at the very beginning. Julian Lane ducked his head down. I'm wondering if Bostwick saw that, because if so, you could expect some uppercuts to be starting to The right uppercut just misses from Bostwick. Big right hand, and Bostwick is dropped by Lane. Victoria eight count from Dan Mogliotta. And, and you can tell right as soon as he hit him, it didn't look like it hurt him bad. It was just a flash knockdown. Bostwick coming forward aggressively after the jab, snap jab from Lane, then pivots out. 80 seconds remaining, round number one. Lane keeping his hands high and tight. Bostwick to the body off balance. Man, it just looks like everything Julian Lane throws is powerful. He's touched him twice, and he's kind of wobbled him both times. To the center of the ring. Jane miss Lane misses with that snap jab, overhand right. And it just misses from Bostwick. 50 seconds remaining, round number one. Jab again from Lane. You know, we've talked about the experience back to being key right there. Julie Lane had a lot more fights. I know Boswick has one. He thinks, okay, I got it now. Julie Lane, so no, you don't. I have the experience here, and I'm going to show you tonight. Last sequence, you saw Boss with two big right hands. They were blocked by that high, tight striking guard of Julian Lane. Now 20 seconds remaining, round number one. More movement from Julian Lane than we've seen in his pre four previous DKFC bouts, Chris. Absolutely. Jab again from Lane. Jab to the body from Bostwick. I mean, you know, Lane usually feels like he's a stronger puncher. And I like that we got to hear a lot of technical right, advice from the corners ready. right there of Julian Lane. Lane, a slight step off the scratch line. Stepped right into that left hand of Bostwick. And again, working the jab. Bostwick, you see the feints? Good left hand. And right back out. He's throwing, the, he's throwing those uppercuts in there a little bit, too. I think he sees Julian Lane ducking his head in a little bit. Long jab from Bostwick doesn't get through. Good head movement from Lane. Another jab from the Englishman, Jake Bostwick. And right chest misses from Lane. 80 seconds remaining, round two. We thought perhaps we'd see a firefight. This has become very technical. Absolutely. Julian Lane doing a good job of blocking those big overhand rights that are coming from Bostwick. Right hand, big right hand, there's the uppercut, and down goes Jake Bostwick again. And you can just see the power difference right there. Every time Julian Lane lands a big punch, he hurts Bostwick. It was on the rear right uppercut. And Mugliano allows this fight to continue. Bostwick eager to get back and lands that right hand. Now the turn from Lane. No strikes, Overhook no held by Bostwick, that gets the break. Back it up, back it up. Let's go. Bostwick down in round number one, down here in round number two. 30 seconds remaining, second round. Swick off the jab, Lane with the jab. <laughs> See the continual fainting from Jake Bostwick. Step in. Almost the footwork of a Superman punch there from Lane. Slightly elevated when he threw the right hand. Bostwick jab to the sternum. See Lane hands down on his bike on the back pedal. That ends round number two. Hold Set for round number three. Buckle up. Presumably 10-8, 10-8 for Julian Lane based on those two knockdowns, one apiece. Round one, round two. Snap jab from Julian Lane. The basketball seems like he's coming up short most of the time with his punches. Either he's landing these big punches that are being blocked by Julian Lane, or he's not able to just quite get it far enough. He needs to step in more as he throws these punches. Come in behind the jab and then throw that big punch. Smear of blood on the face of Jake Bostwick. It's a mouse that has popped under his left eye. And that blood is transferred to his forehead. Overhand right from Bostwick coming and, forward. And Bostwick has a sense of urgency right now. Down two rounds to none with two knockdowns. He's coming forward. 
with bad intentions right now, but so is Julian Lane. Big overhand rights from Lane. Swick again, trying to enter off of the jab, loading up the right, misses on the overhand. Jab to the body now from Jake Boswick. And Boswick is a leaking all over the place. Lead from several different spots. 50 seconds remaining, round number three of this 175 pound bout. Swick misses with that right to the body, lands with that left jab. Better round for Jake Bostwick. Once again, he's got that sense of urgency right now. You can tell he's he stepped up and punched output. He's stalking his opponent. He's we'll stalking pressure indeed for Jake Bostwick into the clinch. He's letting them, they're letting him fight inside as long as they're continuing to punch. Ben Bergliotta ruling this as an Go active strike. clinch. There's the inactivity and the break. Up. Right back to it, orders Bergliotta. And, I mean, with three. the amount of blood right now that Boswick's losing right now, I think that's where that sense of urgency is right there. He's saying, I'm bleeding so bad, I got to finish this fight. Lane, arms extended, trying to bait Boswick in just before the bell that ends round number three. Buckle up. So he had enough pressure and dexterity to grip the towel. Round number three. Certainly did, though, look down at his hand. Round number two. Round number four. You know, with the way the fight's going, if, if it's correct, like we're scoring it, you know, the first two rounds, 10-8, even if Boswick wins the next three rounds, unless he gets a knockdown, he, he'd lose by one point. Jab again from Lane. And the blood's already starting to flow. Chris, this is a new level of jab, a new level of movement for Julian Lane. And this is fifth bout in BKFC. Boswick looking for a way back. Once again, you talked about the, the new level right there. That could be, just be the maturation and just the understanding of the fight game a little bit better. Bare knuckle, the more fights you do, the better you get. We've seen that guys who have had seven, eight fights were starting to get to that level. They're definitely better. Bostwick moving this back to the center of the ring. On the jab, there's the right hand from Jake Bostwick. Up to the body. 50 seconds remaining round number four. Like you said, Julian Lane throwing a lot more jabs. He's landing some of those, but you'd like to see him land one of those big punches again that really do a lot of damage. If he could get one more knockout, I'm sure. Definitely secure this fight. Boswick continuing to try to land that big overhand right off of the one, off of the jab. Continual feints as well for Bostwick. 20 seconds remaining in the fourth round. The jab from Lane. to the sternum just off the mark from Bostwick. Misses with that overhand lead left. Blood all over the face of Jake Bostwick. Back into the pocket goes Lane, right back out. We will move to the fifth and final round. Jake Bostwick versus Julian Lane. Again, Bostwick dropped in round number one, dropped again by Lane in round two. Good right hand by Lane and then exits. I mean, and, and Boswell has to have a sense of emergency right now. He's got to feel like he's down the scorecard. Balance punch. Rare sloppy punch from Lane in this fight. Just with that right hand. But I am very impressed with Boswick's cardio. He looks like he's just as fresh as he was in the first round. Without question. Boswick has been extremely disciplined with his tight boxing. You see the stance, you see the guard. Left hand. Continually loading up that overhand right off of the jab. Fainting with that right hand. One ten remaining in this fight. The hand doesn't get through the arms of Julian Lane. Julian Lane doing a great job of defense there. Even when he gets hit, he's blocking it. It's nothing's coming through clean. Uppercuts now with the left hand for Bostwick from the clinch. Lane snatching the overhook. Bergliotta allowing this to continue correctly so. Really good referee from Dan Bergliotta. Absolutely. They put him in there for a reason. They knew there's a lot of bad blood between these two guys. They needed Dan Bergliotta. More pressure from Bostwick in the closing stages of this fight. It's not automatic on a 10-8, but 
most likely we will see 10 eights, at least from two of the three Florida judges scorecards in rounds one and two in favor of Lane because of those knockdowns. Like you said, it, it's, it's probable, but not certain. The judging criteria of bare knuckle fighting is still evolving. We're just three years in to the modern revitalization of the sport led by BKFC founder, President David Feldman. The bell, the end of the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the scheduled five rounds, here are the score totals from our judges at ringside. Eliseo Rodriguez scores the fight 50-44. Richard Green scores the fight 50-43. And John Rupert scores the fight 48-45 to the winner by unanimous decision, Julian, let me bang, let